There he is. Hold it right there. Crime any more roaches. <laughs> You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! Yeah, I'm asking you. So what? Look, I'm sorry for the way I've always treated you. You know I never meant any of it, right? But it's my mom. You can't leave her in there with the rat roaches. Well, yeah, so I hate rat roaches. So what? I tried to go back in to help her, I swear I did, but I just can't do it. So I'm begging you, please help her. I don't know what I'd do without my mom. No, no, I'm not going back in there, I can't! Shut up! I'm not listening to you. It's not too late. Oh, my God. Thank you. I didn't know what to do. You're the best. Ow, that hurts. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snakes jacket. Go ahead, take it. This is the overseer. All residents of Vault 101 are hereby confined to their quarters. The rat roach infestation is under control. Interfere with vault security personnel. Any resident found outside his or her quarters will be dealt with severely. That is all. Damn it, more roaches! Get away from me! You're stupid if you can't hide from me! Oh. Off with you now! It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. Oh! Take him out! Need some...
this is your fault. You and your stupid father. He had to go and leave, didn't he? He had to mess things up for everybody. I'm hit! I told you, I don't know anything! Be reasonable, Amata. Officer Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Just tell us where to find your friend so we can talk to him. He's my friend. I was worried about him. What does he have to do with any of this anyway? Probably nothing, which is why you need to tell me where he is, so I can talk to him. Again, do what your dad says, Amata. Stop it! That'll do for now. Amata, please, don't be stubborn. I only want to talk to your friend. Surely you understand what's at stake here. Daddy, please stop! Don't you understand? I can't tell you! Why are you doing this to me? Amata, darling, why must you be so stubborn? The last thing I want is to see you hurt, but my duty to the vault comes first. Again, do what your dad says, Amata. All right, officer. Let me try again. If you think I'll be... Bring it! I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. I place the good of the vault above everything, even my own paternal feelings. We must not allow sentiment to cloud our judgment. But I admire your protective instincts. Very well. I give you my word that a motto will not suffer further because of your actions. Now then. If you really care about Amata, you will see how dangerous your father's actions were. Hand over your weapons, and put an end to this dangerous situation. There is no need to join your father as a traitor to the vault. Let's let history be the judge of that. If you had paid attention to Mr. Broch, you'd understand that history is invariably written by the victor. And I intend to be the victor. You won't survive the night. Gods, help me! I have nothing else to say to you. Guards, help! Guards, help! Thank you! I told you my father wasn't himself. I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along. You'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. All residents of 
Vault 101 are hereby confined to their quarters. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I... I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. station is under control. Do not interfere with vault security personnel. You did it! You opened the door! My god, I almost didn't believe it was possible. That is all. You're right. I should have never doubted you. It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for, for you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. There he is. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ow. Damn! Oh. Damn! Ah. You like that, oh. you bastard? Ow! Ooh. Oh! 
This is the Overseer. You've got to get out of here. Someone's sure All to come see what's going on. All residents of Vault 101 Take are care. hereby confined to their quarters. The Rad Roach infestation is under control. Do not interfere with Vault security personnel. Any resident found outside his or her quarters will be dealt with. Severely. That is all.
scum to make it. Have yourself a nice visit, partner. I'll be damned. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. Crater side supply. Take a guess where it is. <laughs> You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Sure thing. What's on your mind? Carry on. Stricken death to hear the th thunder of his voice. Men, women. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. And all without asking for pay, too. Hell. Why don't you move in? Here's the key and the deed to an empty house. Consider yourself a Megaton citizen. Oh, and talk with Moira at Craterside Supply. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Later. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Certainly, sir. Here you are. 
Thirdly, sir, here you are. Thirdly, sir, here you are. Thirdly, sir, here you are. Thirdly, sir, here you are. I'm sorry, sir, my condensation collectors need time to fully recharge before I can continue to dispense any more beverages. Yes, it's common knowledge that irradiated cats have 18 half-lives. Of course, of course, don't let me keep you. I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. That's great for a forward. Open with a joke and all that. Here, take the suit. Something tells me you might need it. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super-duper mart not far from here. 
I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Hmm. Could be the guy I saw at Moriarty's saloon not too long ago. I'd ask there. Take care. It's a big wasteland. But you know that better than me, right? What's happening? Got my eye on you. Don't do anything stupid. Take care now. Welcome to Megaton. Please stand clear of the gate. Welcome to Megaton. Please stand clear of the gate. Welcome to Megaton. Enjoy your stay. Searching for that special something. Welcome.